Friends, fans and family, welcome again to this interesting Jumbi TV with the Empire. See, so right now I'm there in our cemetery me and he might go introduce himself so I'm going to know his name. See, so like the video me begging you please. Once you now watch the vlog, just press the like because it's very important to the channel. Right? Once you press the like button, YouTube pick it up and send it to a further audience out there. Alright, so the boss I got to tell you when experience in our cemetery and in a story a reality this. So boss, good evening and welcome to Empire TV. Good evening. Yeah man, so what's your name? Mark. Mark, yeah, welcome to the channel, I know Mark. Because I get to understand say you have some spiritual encounter with the spirit in the cemetery. Tell me everything what happened. Alright, behind me is a family plot. Mm -hmm. Three cousins, no, two cousins, three uncle. Mm -hmm. My father, and my auntie, and my grandmother. Yeah. Right? All behind me, laying rest. One night around 10 30 minutes going to 11. After we lock up out of the shop. Don't do me if you do it. I decide to say, boy, I'm not going to feel too tired to go out. Mm -hmm. So immediately above the grave, right where I'm sitting right now, I pitch one make a makeshift camp and decide to say, yes, I'm going to camp for the night mm -hmm. under the breakthrough tree. About 10 minutes after I lay down and decide to say, yeah, I'm going to rest. I hear something heavy, a trample. In the bush, I come towards me up at the top, mm -hmm. right? And me I listen to the sound and me I look, me can't see nobody. Then about three minutes into the sound and the trampling, there's a big rock situated above my head, and a big sweet wood tree span across the rock. Mm -hmm. Right? Me feel an intense heat coming from that direction towards me. Mm -hmm. And then the leaf of the tree started to rustle as if there's a storm occur. But there wasn't anything like that, right? Mm -hmm. And I decided, say, oh, whatever it is, I'm not really afraid of it, but I'm going to investigate what it is. So mm -hmm. I get up with the intention to go towards it, take up my machine and I move towards it. Then I feel something like a heavy hand come on my shoulder mm -hmm. and just press me down back. And I just go back and sit down on the makeshift bed. And then the leaves continue to rustle for about three minutes and then the intense heat and me just feel heavy and my head started to swell and after all of that I said whatever it is me not really afraid and I want him to know yours you, you might be a what evil power or whatever power it may be but at the end of the day me a man and me alive and your spirit is stronger than mine so whatever it is present yourself and make me fight it out mm -hmm. and then after about Three to five minutes, everything just subside and come back down to normal. I said, nothing had occurred. And then, within 10 to 15 minutes after the event, I just simply go back, lay down and drop asleep. And I mm -hmm. sleep contented right throughout the night from that until now, I experience that again on a regular basis. I camp on the tree. Mm -hmm. Right when I come out the place on a regular basis, I camp on the tree. I just experience anything like that again. Mm -hmm. One thing I know is that, as I say, all of the girls behind me a family. I may say my father, my auntie, three uncle, two cousins, and my grandmother. Mm -hmm. Right? So whatever the spirit is, I don't know. But one of my cousins, he died young in a motor vehicle accident and he's a man who always for the streets. Yeah. So I don't know if I him go out in business and I come back. Or me have some other generation buried over the other side where I probably come come look for this set of generation. Mm -hmm. I don't really know. But that is my story. So, but cause Nani Gelly tell me so around another year, I have a rolling cap leave around this. You know? Me hear, let me hear that. Mm -hmm. Cause there's a man, there's a grave up there. Mm -hmm. Beside, I'm proper to have around on that side. There's a man buried inside there. And them always to me said, there's a grave up there where a chain is strapped across. You must never, no matter how you must never touch a grave that go too close to the grave. There, you know, so I got a grave there already. Nani Gelly came here, they grave there. Yeah, man. And yeah, the second man come now. And I tell you because people tell me from all across where they live and say, now go back there because it's a dangerous Yeah, man, they say it was a dangerous man used to up and down in the community. Mm. Right? And he's spiritual so all over the place. And so, where you, know, where you hear about him? Because probably where you hear about him are different something from where we hear. What we hear about him, right? Mm. Is that during his lifetime, he was a very serious man, right? Aggressive, intolerant, and just bad behaving. Mm -hmm. And after him death, is that the spirit continued to roam and terrorize the community? Mm -hmm. And eventually everybody gets scared and then they get to an Obia man. Come come train him down in the group. But me is a right out there so they, they catch him. Well I never hear exactly what I'm catching, mm -hmm. right? But he's an elder. My uncle first tell me this story. Mm -hmm. And then after I come and I ask 
an elder who is within the age group of my uncle. Mm -hmm. I asked him and he said yes. And he said to me, I'm going to carry my show me the grave one day. And I'm going to show me the grave because I said we have another piece of property around beside there. Mm -hmm. And my great grandfather has another piece of property right beside it. Mm -hmm. And I see the grave. Yeah, man, right. did everything too. So we tell because me say that the man there that end up in there never free that nobody in the community. No. Me say he mash up people place and then something. Yeah, any anybody him just target him say well then whatever him feel like do him just do it and the whole community is scared of him. Right, and eventually them have to just get a woman man to come come train him in the group. And from then the community rest free and of his spirit. Yeah, come go there already, man. We show it by YouTube and but people. Let me know, say, brother, you see this how you go? I don't want to joke something that man there, you know. Right, and the general direction from which the spirit did come, mm -hmm. around the side there. But I don't think I'm him. I don't think I'm him, as I I figure more or less, he's uh, one of my relatives. Mm -hmm. uh, more likely the one who dead in the accident because I'm that young. And he's a man for the streets, he loves yeah. the streets. So he's going to come in and I was there. <laughs> no, but you know, when my understanding, you see, anytime a man there somewhere and feel, and a spirit approach, and it, he approach with eat, that means that spirit in a welcome here, you know. Well, me, me not know. So I would probably have somebody else a pass through too. Yeah, could be. But I want to you know when the two spirits meet, mm -hmm. is that whatever it is, they realize that my spirit is stronger. Mm -hmm. Right? So therefore, you know, proceed no further. You maintain the boundaries between. So from that night, you know, you know feel the magic. From again. that, you know, see, hear, feel the, 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 the vibration the again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're brave still because, all right, 99% of people right now, now go live which part you live right now, you know. I no business with that. When a man dead, him dead. My spirit is alive, right? I mean, I'm gonna make unseen forces conquer my spirit, right? Because me is alive. That means a, a, a living man is supposed to rule him in space and in my environment, right? And the following night, immediately after the incident, I decide to say, I'm not going out either. I'm still going to camp myself to see if I'm going to have a recurrence of the situation, of this same vibration, and it just never happened again. So, the hand, the hand where you feel all up on your shoulder, who you feel that person is? One of my, more than likely, my father, as well as my auntie, and my grandmother, because those three, mm -hmm. me and them have a very special relationship. So, I'm one of the three. Yeah, because you know, probably them know the danger, that's why they don't make you go out there go look neither. You know? There's a distinct possibility, but whatever it is, I'm curious, I'm curious enough to find out what it is and who, which of us have the stronger spirit. So I'm, glad, I'm glad they never go out there still because I hear so much things about in this little area. Seeing because I get to understand, say, right around here, a little bit behind over there, you did have a rolling calf where you used to rain tear up on people. Yeah, man, which is probably about 100 meters from here, so and then right out there, so you have three bearing ground and some other graves scatter scatter all over the place. Right, but me hear about him as a living man mm -hmm. and in debt. And his stories, you can sell chill, chills down your spine or up your spine. So tell me a little bit about him. I want to hear about him because I'm going to take my ears and roll in the there. I never hear nothing right. about the man. I'm here, right? He may have a family mm -hmm. that currently exists in the community, see me, mm -hmm. right? But of importance, we never hear the story until my uncle tell me about it mm -hmm. and that is like about six months before the event occurred my uncle tell me about it mm -hmm. and i come around here come, come, come live at home i'm coming to the community i'm coming to the community after my experience the elder who me go to and ask him tell me yes say it actually happened and he said to me say he was a terrible man mm -hmm. right in in in, in living Colors, yeah. he was a serious man, right? And him and people are always in a conflict, right? Mm -hmm. And of importance is that you know, hear nobody talk about it. I mean, never know such so a story exists until the it event I'm shared to the brother. And then the brother said to me, Say, he can carry me go show me the grave. Mm -hmm. And then he actually carry me go show me the grave in the bush around there. And I see the chain, right? And all it, all it, all it, all it, all it my uncle said to me, Say, that you have responsibility for all of the family land and about here, but they're close to the fence. There's this grave mm -hmm. with a chain stretch across it, and we mustn't disturb the grave in any way, farm or shape, mm -hmm. because there's a man who used to be a very bad man in living colors and in spirit, who used to roam the community, right, and terrorize the people. And from them chain in the grave, the community is at peace, right, and him still have family existing in the area. 
Right, but nobody just not talk about it for whatever, for whatever reason, you know. Yeah, because but to me here where that spirit is going with Power Road, I'm in a people house. Nobody now go and talk about it. There are certain people like Nanny Gale and you know we tell me about it. But everybody me try to find out the real reality about this man. Mm -hmm. Everybody kinda like them free. Yeah, everybody hush hush, nobody no wanna talk about it. I mean I know the exact reason behind it, mm -hmm. but I know say the story exists and the story real. Because my ears say then go for one Obia man first. Mm -hmm. Right? For, for, for calm him and the one Obia man could calm him. Well, I call him Gabriel me here. I never hear that detail. I never hear well, that detail. I hear right in the cross with Obia something. You see the bird you tell us and Gil will tell you the story? Yeah. Anything happening in this community? From him youthful days up until now. Him can tell him you. Him can tell you in full details. Right? Mm -hmm. And He's a man who can give you the full history of the community overall. Right. How yeah. even the community get its name. Yeah, he tell me all of them something. Everything about the community, right? Him is like a story, but at the end of the day, people that see him and just look at him as somebody humble and just yes. walk past him without him realize the significance see, of him, him to this community as a whole, right? I know the history. He know the history, the fullness in the That's community. Right. Right. And can even him tell, him, him tell me so one at a time, even out in a cross where there's some people used to bury people picnic. Like whole long people and something. Yeah man. Yeah man. Yeah so man. So you, you didn't know you know what them. We know of that. We mm -hmm. know of that because at one point in time and I, I leave here then, mm -hmm. right? But when me out then I come back and say there's a party, there's an individual in the, the community. Before he died, he started to confess as to some of the things that he did to people pick me within the community. Right? And adapters literally have to silence him. They should have silenced him. They should have make him talk. Because then something they know, you know. Yeah, man. Right? But the important is that most of the community is like this community is a royal family. Every family is connected somehow. There's the, 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 gene, the gene pool. Connected. It, 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 yeah. It, it, it cross in interconnected in every way shape, right, but, but the part that we can understand as a community where is a royal community that means everybody have family so why back in the time the people used to be so cool to them one another no i guess in the very beginning right mm -hmm. you have different individual come together mm -hmm. right and start to procreate and you have individuals from all across saint thomas portland all over coming. So each individual come in, right? They might come from a different background. Okay. See, so guys, we are going up at the grave now. I eh? one of the wickedest dopey of them, man. Yeah. Lock the place. So they have to chain him down to the amount of things we are going with. See? When he's dead, I do a frighten people on the road, kick young people. <laughs> what, what, what this man used to do in that time? When they're up here, I'll put it in place. Any man we got here, and friend, I'll be on your hat. And you take your friend, I say, give me, give me my hat. Right. When I'm all in the yard, I see from baby. You take my foot in my ground. Yeah. Yeah. Wicked man goes this. In the heart, kind of something, man. All right, guys, so we're up on way right now. I grew under a secret cemetery, yeah? mm -hmm. right? Cemetery. Cemetery, if you go. Take a look. Even though I did free it, I never want to go. But Nanny Girl taught me out and tell me I'm family them, so I have nothing to free it. See? So right now, we're up on the way I go around the cemetery. See? So now I go hear everything where this man had do. When he had roam the road before, then capture him and chain him down in a grave. See? So see you guys when we get there. See old man Kwaku, they wouldn't know them and then say I don't be in a garbush and see old man Kwaku. Don't shoot him. Cause then say my dopey bird. See him there? Very rare you see them kind of bird there. And if you can't see him good still. Alright guys, so we finally reach. See? Him? This video was supposed to do from a couple years back, see? Him? But we did kind of free it because I say. If a dopey terrorize a community and they have to chain him down, that means he's a dangerous ghost that. See? So, Nanny Girl 
reassure me and say, yo, forward empire, me bring you there, nothing can do you. The answer we finally reach today. Come check out the grave way, then chain down the man in a way that get the most problem on the hill. See, so me and Nanny Girl we link up today again and we found upon the adventure so we are giving that one exclusive. Yeah, you know, so Alright. Yeah, you know. Everywhere we're there in your grave. Yes, all in places, so man, but I just pick out so well then. Over the years. Yeah, over the years. Look over there, so see more. Yeah, let me show you guys on the look. First time when they are buried dead. A stone and use. Then pack use them. and pack stone and bury them. So all the way you see the stone them pack up. A grave, so you, you see if I go over there, my boss go video. Yeah, go on, man. All right, so nanny girl, so see the guys all around us see them stone that we pack up here. So a grave, all of them nanny girl, me now want to drop them in a whole grave, you know. All right, see, look, yeah, boy, you have to know where you are still. So, guys, you know, see it, look, see all the stone them pack, so them pack is stone them, ah, so them bury. People, them pack around it to make the mark. So, all that way, me have video here, so I show you. Yeah, this is one big, this is a. See, let me go down close and show you how it's stone them pack. See, it's all of them here, a old cemetery, old cemetery we're in right now. See, so we are going to show you the main dopey we bury us away. The whole community did three times so much. Where them have a forward, Nanny Gala go give you the history, I hold and capture him. See, so we are going to search for the grave now with the chain. Yeah. We are chain it down. We are not search because Nanny Girl already know it. See, so everything where you see us, so we pack with stone, a grave, all cemetery we are in right now. Nanny Girl, I don't want to come near. That's something I still you know. See the chain, they are doing the same thing. Find for nothing in our cemetery. All right, guys, so. Empire TV is all about showing you know, the exclusive. We're not telling you no lie. So, Nanny Girl, no touch nothing, Nanny Girl, no touching nothing. 